Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Milmer's Xcode tutorial. This tutorial is a follow on tutorial from my image view tutorials. So if you haven't seen them or you don't know how to use image views, please click the link there and that will take you to them and you can learn about image views. Um, however, if you have seen them, then uh, this tutorial is teaching you how to animate an image view. Now, there are two ways of animating image views. There is playing images frame by frame, like a flash, anim flash animation, sorry. Or there is um, moving an image across the screen in certain directions. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the frame by frame one. However, in my next tutorial, I'll be doing the moving across the screen one. So if you want to go see that one, click on the link down here. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick demo of what we're going to be making today. So uh, here's our project. It's the same project from last time, apart from the fact I've changed the image view and the button. So uh, I'll just show you briefly. So as you can see, there's a, a bunny and it bounces up and down and the button still changes like normal that we learned in our other tutorials. Um, and these images will be on my website. So uh, go go to my website, links in the description and find those images. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll uh, open up the image view project that we've been using. And uh, I'll just make it a bit smaller because we need to drag our new images in. And as you can see, I've deleted my uh, frog image because we don't need that anymore. And I've got these images over here with my bunnies in it, uh, which you saw in the demo there. So I'll just drag my bunnies over into the resources. Uh, don't need to copy them. And, uh, oops. Yeah, and uh, there you go, there's my images in there. Now my images are named frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, and all that. So as you can see, the bunny animates like that. Um, so that's what the images are called. So we need to know that for later in the tutorial. So if I just make this bigger and go into the .m, again everything's going to be done in the .m. We don't need to do anything else really. Um, so yeah, first of all, uh, we'll forget about this. Don't delete it though. Uh, so we'll find the view did load method. We'll ungreen that. And inside here, we're going to create our images and the array to hold the images. So uh, press enter, and we'll create the array. So ns uh, array, uh, star, I don't know, call it image array, semicolon. Then it's going to be image array, space equals space, double square brackets, ns array alloc, close square brackets, well, one, then init with objects and uh, now I'm going to type in the images that we need so because uh, I have 20 of them I'm not going to type them all out but I'll show you how to do the first one so um, open square brackets UI image space image named and then it's going to be at open quotes and then the name of your first image in the in the uh, kind of animation because if you have if you name your last image, then you in the animation is going to play backwards. So uh, make sure you go. So my first one was frame one. So frame dash one png. Close quotes. Close square brackets. But instead of a semicolon, we're going to go comma. Then we're going to go enter and do the next one. So my next one was image image named, and my next one was frame dash two dot png. Now again, make sure it's the second image, because if it's the third image or the fourth, it's going to run your animation out of order, it's going to look weird. And again, open square brackets, semicolon, next image. And just keep doing that till you've done all your images, and uh, I'll be back in a minute once I've done all mine to show you what to do next. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've finished putting in all my 20 images. And uh, to finish it off, just simply go comma nil and then end the square brackets and semicolon. Now we need to give these images in the array to the image view so the image view can animate them. So to do that we go image, well no, image, which is the name of our image view, and then we go animation images, should auto complete, space equals space, and then it's going to be the name of our array. So that was image array. No, not square brackets, oops. Yeah, and semicolon. Now what this is doing, this is going, so the images, animation images, so that means 
what the image is going to animate is going to be the array. And in the array are all these images for it to animate. Um, so, yep, that's basically what that means. Now we need to set the duration, i.e. the time, uh, just like we did with our other animation we used up here. So that 3 seconds is now going to be 1 second for my animation. So enter and image again dot animation animation duration space equals space and then the amount of seconds now mine's going to be one um, just because mine runs faster uh, it runs more fluently at one now it depends on your animation if you want it to go slow or fast just mess around with it see what it is so one and that means the uh, time it takes to swap frames and you can also have 0 0.5 and stuff like that if you want it really fast. So, and that semicolon. And now we need to release the array. Now the reason we need to release the array is because we allocated memory to it. That's what alloc means. So because we gave memory to the array and the array doesn't need this memory anymore, we can release it. So to do that, we just go open square brackets, image array, release. Close square brackets, semicolon. Now... We now got to uh, deal with our if statements up here. Uh, so basically, now we've got to delete pretty much everything we've done other than the if statements. So, uh, yep, there you go. That's <laughs> pretty much everything gone. Um, so to start again, now we need to go in the if statement. We still need image, but instead of alpha this time, it's going to be is animating. So if the image is animating like that, then do whatever's in here. So we're going to make sure the image stops animating because if it is animating, we're going to stop it. So to do that, just press enter and go open square brackets image dot no not dot image stop animating close square brackets semicolon. And now for the button, we don't want it to say show image anymore. We want it to say start because if it stops, we want the button to change to start. Now, this else command will not be else if anymore, it will just be else. So we can delete that there. So else do this. And that's going to start the animation again. So open square brackets, image, and instead of stop animating, we're going to go start animating like that. End square brackets, close semicolon, and... Um, Yep, and in the button here, instead of hide image, we're going to go stop uh, and delete the UI view commit animations at the end there. Um, so there you go, guys. That's all the code we need. So uh, now we need to go into Interface Builder and set it all up. So open your image view controller.nib. And uh, as you can see, our image has got a question mark on it. That's because our image doesn't exist anymore because we deleted our red tree frog. So if we just select that and go to the image again and make sure you change it to your first frame. Otherwise, again, it will run in a weird uh, kind of way. And uh, my bunny here looks a bit squashed. So I'm going to go command equals. Remember that from the other video. And uh, just to make the bit bunny image uh, the proper size. Um, and that's it for the image view. It's already been connected up. So uh, there you go. And now we need to change this button just to start. Just because we don't want it to hide the image anymore. We want it to start the uh, animation. Um, so once that's done, just that's it basically in Interface Builder. So we can save that. Go back to Xcode and build and run. So here's the simulator here. And uh, there's our app. You can see our bunny. And you can see our button, as I click start, it will change to stop, the bunny will start hopping, and when I click stop, the button will change to start, and the bunny will stop. So, um, there you go guys, just a quick tutorial on image animation, and how to run it frame by frame, or image by image. Um, so, make sure you watch out for my other tutorial, which I've already said at the start of this video, and we'll put a link in the description to it. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't feel free to put them in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. See you in my next video.